You're locked out of Windows 11. The sign-in button is useless and nothing works. But while Microsoft wants you to think you're stuck, they forgot to disable one secret icon. It's been hiding in plain sight this whole time, and it gives you full system access in under 60 seconds, without a password. I'm Alex, and today I'll show you how to turn a simple accessibility feature into a total backdoor. Let's get your PC back. To make this work, we aren't even booting into Windows immediately. We are using a standard Windows installation USB, or you can use Heron's boot USB. Now, before you start spamming BitLocker in the comments, let me tell you something. BitLocker is trash. There are videos online showing you how to bypass the encryption entirely, and that is possible because the communication between the TPM chip and your processor happens in plain text. So it's wide open. And yes, this works. Also, stick around if you're signing with a Microsoft account, because there is a bit more complicated solution, but I have a workaround for you. Once you boot from the USB, ignore the repair button. Instead, press Shift plus F10. Remember that shortcut because it saves lives. This opens the command prompt with system level privileges. And now no one asks you for permissions anymore. You are in charge. Type notepad in CMD and hit enter. Why? Because it's much easier to use a visual interface than to type long directory paths and commands. Once notepad opens, go to file, click on save as, and now you have a file explorer window. First, make sure to change the save as type at the bottom to all files. If you don't, Windows will hide the executables we're looking for. Now navigate to this PC, find your C drive and head into the Windows, then System32 folder. This is where the party begins. By the way, this is a fresh install of Windows 11 and I was never asked to enable BitLocker, so we're good to go. Scroll down until you find the Utilman executable. Rename it to Utilman1. Now find the CMD executable and rename it to Utilman. Hit F5 to refresh the folder and make sure the names actually changed. If they did, you just successfully swapped the accessibility menu for the command line. Press Alt F4 to close everything and in the terminal type WPE Util Reboot. We are officially making progress, so get ready for the login screen. Remember what I said at the beginning. Microsoft forgot to disable one icon. In Windows, every icon or button on the lock screen is actually an executable file. This means if we swap the names, we can trick Windows into launching the command prompt instead of the accessibility panel. Since we aren't logged in into any account yet, pressing that accessibility icon will launch the terminal as system. So the hack consists of two steps. Step one is renaming the executable, which we just did. And now, let's move to step 2, the execution. Here's where Microsoft's biggest mistake becomes your way in. Click the accessibility icon and, instead of a menu, the terminal spawns on the screen. Now listen carefully. If you didn't sign in with a Microsoft email, you're likely on a local account. Type net user and hit enter. If you see your full username, you're using a local account. To reset your password, type net user, then your account name, followed by 1 to 3 4. If your username has spaces like mine, Alex Cybersecurity, you must wrap it in quotes. It should look like this. Net user, quote, Alex space Cybersecurity, quote, space 1 to 3 4. Hit enter, and 1 to 3 4 is your new password. You're in. But what if you get error 8646? Or what if your username looks cut off in the list? That means you're using a Microsoft account. Sadly, you cannot change the password of a cloud account using this command. Most people think this is game over and format their PC right here. Do not do that. We aren't finished yet. Since we have system access, we don't need to hack your old password. We can simply build a backdoor account to get in anyway. We're going to create a brand new local admin account that bypasses everything. Type net user space slash add and new name of the account, followed by password. If you don't want to have a password, you can just leave it blank. Next, we need to grant administrator rights to the account we just created. Type net local group administrators space slash add and the name of a new account. Now reboot your PC and sign into this new user account. You might be thinking, but Alex, my files are on the other account. Don't worry, since you are now an administrator, simply go to see users and you have full access to your old user folder. 
you can copy paste all your photos, documents and data to your new profile. You just saved your data without knowing the original password. Once you recovered your files, you can go to settings and remove the old logged account. If this video saved you a trip to the repair shop, consider subscribing. I reply to every single comment if you get stuck. Also, I highly recommend reverting the executable names back to default afterward, since CMD is a critical part of the system. But Windows isn't the only thing with a secret backdoor. Your phone has three hidden signs it's currently being tracked, and you probably missed the first one. I'll break that down in my next video. Stay tuned, stay safe and see you there.